Good morning, peeps. Welcome back to the vlog. So as you can see, I got the my mirror caps here. Uh, so I'm gonna have to rip off the wrap and clean off uh, the surface before I could put it on. They gave me a bunch of uh, little 3M round tapes. I probably have to cut into strips. Uh, like I got this carbon fiber mirror cap from Carbon Fiber Racing. I have the link below so you can see it. So it pretty much just pops on to on top of uh, this previous uh, the OEM one. You don't take the OEM piece off. So you just goes right on top since hence is a mirror cap. Good thing about having a tailgate. You can just put all your stuff on the tailgates. So and also my uh, little rubber strip for the hood, which goes right here, came in. So I'm gonna put that on first, clean the surface, and then put the mirror cap on. Today we're actually going down to pick up the wrap. So hopefully in this video today or tomorrow, I'll be able to start wrapping uh, the various piece. So we'll see. All right, peeps, so I got it. Here it is. Pretty easy. It's just these little clips goes into the holes. And yeah, it's pretty much done with that. Way too cold out today. So yeah, it looks a whole lot better with this rubber piece here. It just covers it all up. I can't believe I forgot it and sold my other bumper without taking it out, but it's okay. You know, it's only a $10 fix. Let's get these wraps out. Mm, look at this nasty old wrap job. All right, let me peel it off, clean it off, put it on, and I'll show you guys. All right, just before I start putting it on, so this is what I got to work with. Uh, he said that we probably have to cut some straight lines through these circles, but we'll see. I already took the wrap off, clean it up a little bit, so that's it. And yeah, we're supposed to stick this onto the original OEM uh, mirrors before we put it on the carbon fiber. So put it on here first and then put the carbon fiber caps over top. All right, let's get started. All right, I had to get the heat gun out because uh, it was too cold and 3M tape's not really sticking too well. Uh, but it looks like it's on pretty well. Um, we'll have to see tomorrow. And yeah, it's just... It is how it is in the winter, so we'll see. Hopefully, we don't lose this mirror cap. But yeah, look at this carbon fiber. It's like honeycomb. You see it? Very nice. I like it. Actually, it does look pretty good. The black uh, caps instead of uh, uh, the wrap itself. I mean, what do you guys think? Cap or wrap? I don't know. I like the caps a lot more. All right, let me go ahead and finish the other side, and uh, then we head up and pick up the rock. All right, got it done on this side too. <sighs> Not, uh, this side is a lot faster than the other one since I got the heat gun. Stuck pretty well. I don't know, looks pretty dang good to me, guys. Oh, man. Except for these things. These need to be carbon fiber or something. Or at least get it, like, unashy. <laughs> then this as well. I might Cerakote these. I don't know yet. But, yeah, look at this. Oof, I like it. I like it. I like it. So hopefully right now, make our way down there, we'll grab the wrap, and yeah, work on it. I want to get the front bumper, fenders, hopefully get all three done today. It is really cold, not really ideal weather for wrapping, but you know, cold stretch is fine. Get the cold stretch in, get the corner, got the heat gun. Hopefully I can get a garage to get in to work on it. If not, this is my garage. So, yep. Uh, the Evo is parked mad sideways, so I'm gonna move the truck and uh yeah get you guys co-start in the truck get you guys co-start in the evil straighten it out and then head out yeah. co-start in the truck first since it's i got this uh badass remote start Ooh, a monster. all right move the truck out the way now let's straighten up this evil co-start
Oh, straighten out as best I can. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to wrap this car. All right, let's go grab the wrap. See you later. I got rid of the keys. Uh, check the climate. Oh, I love this thing so much. Look at this. So much options. Got to heat up a little bit. I think 80 is a little too much. I'm going to put it down to 77. Got some radio. Let me some old country. And then we're off. Oh, seatbelts. Got to get my, my seatbelt on. Ooh. Let's roll. At least I can film, you know what I'm saying? Oh man, big old truck for a little guy. Yeah, actually I'm not little. <laughs> yeah, so I was gonna wait a little bit to get tent, but uh, yeah, the sun, not so good. Think about getting 20% tent like I do on the Evo. Uh, these back tent, the back windows already have tent, so I'm not sure if I wanna replace it, but at least the front. Well, I don't know. Okay, we'll look weird with different size, I mean, different uh, percentage of tent in the front and the back. You guys let me know if not i'll just make them tint the back as well get an extra layer on it i think uh you can put a double layer on this or they have to rip it off i'm not sure yet but yeah sun's out today it's really deceiving because it's hella cold and yeah my hand was really freezing this morning <sighs> trying to put the cap on itself it's only what 29 degrees outside it did snow a little bit yesterday and christmas uh, i hope everybody had enjoyed their holidays christmas was a blast for me obviously you know my wife got me a truck and uh yeah just a small family gathering and yeah we didn't have to repair too much and it was it was pretty fun i enjoyed christmas this year even though 2020 was not a great year for me uh you know uh, not just for me but for everybody you know i just hope 2021 is different uh we get rid of this virus and just you know at least at least walk outside you know without wearing a mask or something because you know i just really hate bringing my son outside and he has to wear a mask you know it's just it, it's just heartbreaking so yeah all right peeps so just let you guys know i've been in traffic for about two hours now uh yeah i don't know if we have enough time to even wrap the vehicle today to Sun's going down in around 4.30 in Virginia lately and there's just, yeah, I don't know. We're probably going to have to do it tomorrow. Let's just hope it clears off. I got like, what, 15 miles to go and then then head back. The back way looks pretty clear, so yeah, we'll see. All right, peeps. So I went and got it. It's actually not 3M, it's Avery, but I already checked the color. It actually matches the car, so everything's good. I'm going to head back. And I don't know, probably don't even have time today, but we'll see if I could even get a portion of the fender done, at least one fender done, and then we could work on the bumper and the other, the rest of the thing tomorrow. Right. Yep. Oh, it just took so long to get down here. I mean, man, I didn't expect it to take this long. So much traffic. I guess everybody's going home or something. Let's get out of here. All right, peeps, so I made it back to the house. Uh, I got about like 30 to 45 minutes left of sunlight before the, you know, obviously the sun goes down. So I'm gonna try to knock out the fender and then just call it a day, call it a vlog, and uh, hopefully we get it done on the next vlog. But, you know, it is what it is. It took so long to get down there. Coming back up here was a breeze, but yeah, but enough wasting time. Let me go set up, grab the stuff, and uh, finish off, hopefully, a fender or two. All right, peeps. I got all the stuff out. I think that's everything I need. We'll open this in a little bit. I'm just going to clean, clean it off and then clay bar it. Let me wipe this down real quick. No, we just want to... Make sure it's extremely clean. You got a clay bar it too, so make sure you clay bar it. I think I gotta do this in two pieces. Like an inlay right here, and then once I put it over top, not sure. I think, we'll see. I don't know why they use a 3M box for Avery, so don't ask me why. I won't know. Okay. 
want the longest portion, which is here. Two here. Two here is 30, 40, 46. So you add three. I usually add three to it. So 46, I'll do, I'll cut 49. And the height is, the height, all standard is five feet. So let me see what this is. Can we cut it in half? No. Uh, it's almost 36. So we can't really cut it too much. So it's three feet. So we're going to save a little bit, but we, we ain't going to save that much. Oh. Here it is. I think I'm good with this today because I only need I'm only doing one fender. It's way too cold. Finish. Oh, I'll put this in the car. I don't know guys, I mean, it's way too cold to do this. Yeah, I'm losing sunlight, can't do it today. All right, peeps, so I didn't get it done. Uh, the vinyl is giving me a hard time. The weather's really cold. Uh, it's not sticking to the fenders. Also, I'm not sure if I could do it in two piece or three piece because this part right here is really difficult to wrap. Like I try to put one piece on there. I don't know if you notice uh, this part right here is just giving me issue. So I'm thinking one piece here, one piece here. And then once I overlap it, I'll just cut here and lay this on top of here like this. So it would just be a line like that and line like that. I think it'd be fine. Uh, so I'm gonna have to do one piece here, one piece here, and then the whole piece over top. So I'm gonna have to wait to the next vlog or next day uh, to figure it out. When it gets a little warmer, I need to get into a garage and so I could, you know, you know use the heat gun, warm up the panel itself and then the vinyl hopefully will stick up, stick on it or heat up the vinyl a little bit, like a 10% heat on it and then put it in and then try to get it on. But right now in the cold weather, sun's going down, I, I can't do it. It's just not possible right now. Move the truck back in, but I guess today is a plus, a fail, and a not fail. I got the caps on. You know, the cap looks really good. Uh, got that rubber piece on with a uh, bumper and hood connects. And grab the wrap, but just can't do it right now. So, you know, it is what it is. You can't always be perfect. So, I'm definitely going to wait for it tomorrow where it's sunny, get a little warmer. And uh, then possibly see if Squirrel or, no, Dan's not here. See if Tim or Squirrel is available and I could use their garage and uh, we get the wrap on, but I don't think I'm gonna do it outside. I need a garage to do it in. If not, I'll see what Kit's doing, see if I can pull it in in Kit's garage and get it done. But yeah, it's just, I can't I can't figure it out for the life of me. Might, might need to ask Kit, so. But it is what it is. That's it, peeps. Thanks for tuning into this vlog and I'll see you next time. Peace.